Today I have received a very interesting comment on relative comparison between IIT JAM examination and SSC CGL examination. Those who don't know about these two examinations, just give me a brief details about that. IIT from IIT JAM examination, if you are a science background student and if you are doing graduation, you can do masters from IITs based on your rank. If you, if it's your rank uh, among uh, top 500 or say 7, 7 to 800 or 1000, you can get IIT. Among top 500, you can get top IITs and after that you can get lower IITs or NITs. So from that you can do masters and for CGL, SSC CGL examination, you can opt for various job uh, of central government actually. Uh, for example, top most or fascinating jobs what students prefer generally that are income tax officer and excise officer or you can say auditor uh, etc auditor general etc so there are so many officer level jobs in ssc cgl examination uh, and you are eligible after your graduation itself uh, after class 12 there is another ssc examination a central government job that is SSC CHSL examination okay generally jobs in India are divided in four categories group A group B group C group D uh, after masters okay uh, from different uh, uh, from different exams you can opt for group A jobs okay first uh, to do the relative comparison let's uh, see positive and negative sides of both the examination First, IIT JAM examination, positive side, uh, you can do masters, you can, if you have no tag of IIT, uh, you can be IIT and through that, it's obviously a positive thing, your acceptance and your level increases a lot, okay, and your uh, self-improvement, actually, you found a lot of difference when you're before IIT and after IIT in yourself, in level of confidence, in level of hard work, etc. So, IIT tag is one thing. Second, there is a, uh, you can improve yourself a lot. After that, uh, your chances of selection in different sec different uh, sectors like aid tech industries or some other sections, it increases a lot if you are an, if you are an IITN, okay. And from IIT, you can do a PhD from very recognized universities worldwide, okay. Uh, if you are from different universities apart from IIT, then if you want to do a PhD, then it requires a lot of effort. You have to qualify GRE, 2FL, etc. examination with a very good rank, etc. But uh, if you are an IITN, a recommendation of your professor is enough for getting PhD positions in foreign universities. Okay, that's a good thing. If you are, uh, if you are very much comfortable with that and if, if you want to opt for higher studies, Okay, or you can uh, if uh, or if you want to stay in academics. Okay, if you want to be a professor or lecturer or a teacher in edtech industries, doing masters is a good option. If you are not, if you have no not much um, affection of your subject of graduation, okay, there is not so much passion, not so much love for uh, your graduation subject or you have no such interest of staying in no such passion for staying in academics like for masters for phds uh, it requires a lot of effort and after that uh, uh, for a post of position uh, for, uh, for a position of professor if you have not uh, you have no that much of interest okay then there is no point of uh, doing masters actually from iit jam positive side it is if uh, you are becoming an IITN, your acceptance is various job fields increases, your self potential increases. Negative side, if you don't want to, uh, another one positive side is if you want to opt for higher studies, PhDs, want to be professor, that's a very good option. Negative side is if you have not so much passion about your graduation subject, then uh, doing masters is of no use actually. Okay, another thing, for SSC CGL, okay, positive thing is after graduation, immediately after graduation, you can start your preparation or in the final year, you can start preparation. Generally, every year, uh, 
vacancies around seven to eight thousand okay you can get seven to eight thousand vacancies but the negative thing is here competition is very high nearly about 30 lakh students appears every year this, this exam is of two part tier one tier two tier one you can compare with uh, prelim tier two you can compare with mains okay there is no such interview tier one you have qualified tier two qualified then uh, after document verification uh, you can get your offer letter seven to eight thousand vacancies almost every year and the competition is very high uh, that much of competition is not in iit jam examination at all okay uh, in iit jam examination you have to give a uh, focus on your strength subject depth but in sscgl you have to more focus on practice more focus on accuracy more focus on speed there is a lot of question you have to answer in a very limited time okay so if you have not such much affect uh, such much affection of your graduation subject or you have not that much interest in going academics staying in academics i think there is no point of doing higher studies or preparing for iit jam examination i have a one friend in iit uh, who just studied uh, well in graduation that's why he qualified iit jam examination but after that he realized that uh, he have to sit for uh, ssc cgl examination he had a passion for a particular post of income tax officer okay so he started preparation in iit itself okay so uh, he uh, he stopped <laughs> attending classes regularly and uh, became a full time aspirant for ssc cgl and in the final year he has qualified the ssc cgl examination though he has not obtained his uh, expected post so he decided to sit another more year for uh, for obtaining uh, his expected post but there are so many students after graduation uh, after graduation they opt for ssc cgl apart from iit jam examination see after iit jam examination what will happen you will be doing masters from an iit after that you have to give another examination gate examination geo scientist on uh, brs examination for getting a job positive thing here is you can get a great job okay but there is another exam right after that uh, or if you want to do phd is a good thing but if you want a job there is not such much affection for uh, academics then there is uh, there is no such point of doing masters uh, and uh, iit jam examination if you want to keep your opportunities open for all actually if you are doing masters then opportunities for net gate geo scientist etc this is open for you and uh, this type ssc cgl examination this is also open for you that's your choice but uh, believe me you cannot prepare for both the fields actually you can't prepare ssc cgl as well or iit uh, or gate net geo scientist etc in your masters everything you can't do it so if you are thinking that i will have option of uh, both chemistry field and non chemistry field you can't utilize it okay at a time you can prepare only one kind of thing if chemistry then all chemistry field jobs if not chemistry then not chemistry field job you have to leave your field okay so final conclusion is what you have concluded if you have if you have not such much affection in your graduation subject not much love for your graduation subject and you have not that much interest of staying in academics uh, doing phd's becoming a professor or in teacher in edtech industries in your subject okay and uh, other than ex other examinations you are becoming just scientist and you have not that much interest of being scientist and if you want a job immediately i imme mean not immediately in the sense after you know, one two or three years two or three years you can assume two or three years then you have to leave your field and prepare for ssc cgl examination there's a good choice okay it will take two to three years if you are with it if you are doing hard work it should not take two to three years um more than two years actually so it's your choice i have said positive or negative things now consider yourself uh, always i say listen everyone listen every point but decide of your own don't decide by other words okay so ssc cgl is a very good option if you want to leave your field that's all thank you